Yeah. I found this skull in the forest, and uh, it, it's really interesting. I want you to, you know, point out something, orient us on what okay. this, what's here. Okay. Let's show everybody what we have here. Uh, we, this is nice. This is a really big skull, and this is the back end here. This is the front nose end over there. Uh, we've got some teeth and this big long jaw and this is the eye socket over here so we've got eye socket and look at this long snout this snout reflects the the uh, possibility that this animal can smell things very well so we'll we'll talk about hmm. what is this species and what can we tell from the skull okay. well let's see if we look at it, first we can see that it's got some pretty big canine teeth. And uh, that could lead us in one direction, but what I notice is it's got these, yeah. these teeth here. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. These are molars. Now, when you have a line of molars like this, it generally indicates that it's probably an herbivore. All right, so so this so we've got grinding style molars. Right. The teeth will give us evidence of what kind of food this particular animal eats, and this right. is a mammal. This this we know is a is a mammal. So um, herbivores in tropical forests, in any forest actually, usually have grinding style teeth. Right. Okay. And so we've established that it's got grinding style teeth, these molars, so it's probably an herbivore, but we still have these big long canines. Yeah, look at these, so. these big teeth here. So uh, what's going on here? What, what do you think we have? I'm, I'm going to go towards a peccary mm -hmm. because uh, it has these big teeth and we, you know, we sometimes refer to them as tusks. Mm -hmm. So these teeth can be used both for protection and uh, also for stripping bark off a tree uh, mm -hmm. for, for eating purposes. Sure. But uh, usually it's, it's protection and um, probably showing dominance within the herd. Okay, so they, they are social animals. They, we know from watching peccaries here in the forest that they, uh, they compete for food and one of the ways they compete with, with other peccaries is to show off their, their big canines. Yes, and so, they, they tend mm -hmm. to show off their big canines and a lot of times they'll They'll clack their teeth together, and they make a pretty tremendous sound. We can't make it with the skull, but it is an impressive sound when they do that. Mm -hmm. and they have a lot of power in these jaws. Okay. Now we have a nice large cat. Mm -hmm. you got to take your fingers okay. out of the way. Well, he bit me, you know, oh, what can I say? Okay. And let's orient people. This is the back of the skull here, right here. And we go to the front of the skull. This is where the nose is. Uh, here we have the cheekbone and the eye socket right in here. So this is where the, the eye goes. And you can see how big this, this eye socket is because uh, they have very good vision. Yes. Huge. Very good nighttime vision also. And this cheekbone, behind it is the jaw. The jawbone connects in there. And we've got these huge teeth here. Yeah. So no. You want me to point out some teeth? Yeah, why don't you point out these teeth by my finger. Those are the carnassial teeth, and they're an interesting, interesting tool because they act like scissors. So they actually shred meat and sort of cut it and shred it. Yeah, and, and, and that's an important point you made, that they're like a tool. The uh, teeth of animals are basically their tools for uh, tools, T-O-O-L-S, they're tools for handling objects in their environment, whether it's food or prey. So. And just to show you an example here, here's another, here's a tool that resembles the teeth, the carnassial teeth in their action. Scissors slice. They shear, actually. The term is shear, S-H-E-A-R. And so they, as the jaws close, they crunch down and slice with two knives anything that gets in the way. And of course, prey muscle is what they're suited to slice. So this is a really great example of specialized predators, cats in general, not just a jaguar. This is, this is a jaguar skull. Uh, ocelots, house cats, your, your domestic cats, 
bobcats, they all have carnassial teeth that are special molars. They're not for grinding, not like herbivores, but for slicing, cutting, like that. And what are these canines for? They're good for punching holes, holding, grabbing. Mm -hmm. Stabbing. Stabbing. Yes. So we have slicing and dicing and stabbing. Right. Let's, let's look at something large. Something yeah. large that everybody can see? Yeah, everybody okay. can see this. Okay. Okay. Here we have a crocodile skull. Now this is a real large individual. I mean, I can put my, my okay. hand in it, my, my arm. And it's just, this is a really large animal. And they estimated by the size of the skull that this individual was probably five meters long. We know a meter is just you know, over three feet, so that's over 16 feet of crocodile. Mm -hmm. That's a big animal. This is a snake. It's a, it's a skull. This is the head only of the snake. So we're talking a big snake. Whole snake, probably five meters long. And this, if we turn it this way, we'll show you, here's the, the eye sockets right here and here. And this is where the nostrils are over here. This is a, an aquatic snake, a species that lives in water. Anaconda uh, feeds on mammals that come down to the shore or birds that are wading birds in the water and uses what have we got here? Can Uses you... these wonderful teeth. Now remember, I just gave you the example on the crocodile about the, the teeth that are curved or recurved in. Mm -hmm. And you can see this is probably even a better example because these teeth, once that something in the prey is in, it's very, very hard to get out. So this is very good at holding, stabbing and holding its prey. Okay. The other thing to mention here is, notice that these jaws are not connected by bone here across the front that they have ligaments instead that stretch. So, so very elastic-like mm -hmm. ligaments. Yeah, so they can open their mouth extremely wide just by stretching the elastic between those jaws, okay, here and here.